Visual novels are one of those video game types that are all about telling an engaging story with interesting and unique characters. And it is a type of video game that I haven't had the chance to explore. But today, I got a wonderful chance to explore it with an interesting story and compelling characters. Today, I'm going to be talking about a game featuring a unique and different protagonist with some magical girl power. Hi everybody, my name is Jeremy and this is my review for Indie Visual Novel for Alice Magical Autistic Girls. Thanks to indie developer Mia Blaze Coite for the review code. The premise of this game is as follows. Alice Lorange is an autistic teenage girl from Quebec, Canada. After one stressful day at school and at home, Alice goes to sleep and is transported to a mysterious house that she cannot leave. There she meets three other girls that are trapped just like her. They all find out that they have magical girl powers and must uncover the truth of what is happening and how to escape the house. The story of this game is kind of wacky in a sense because of the fantastical, magical scenarios our characters are in. However, the story has darker themes that give it a hint of horror, making it really interesting to play through. One aspect of the storytelling of this game that I felt gave it depth and complexity is the characterization of the main character. As I said before, Alice is an autistic girl and this game really does an excellent job showing the player a typical day in Alice's life. We as a player get to experience how Alice perceives the world around her and her struggles. So in a sense, Alice's autism is the cornerstone of the storytelling in this game, and the developer did an excellent job portraying the challenges of dealing with everyday life through the lens of autism. The game also explores other mature themes and does so in a respectful and interesting way. Because this is a visual novel, the story is presented with still images of the characters and their environments in different situations. The story is narrated in French by Chloe Guerin, who is a YouTuber that does a lot of incredible music covers. This makes the story much more interesting to play through than your typical visual novel. Je m'appelle Alice Lorange. Oui, comme une orange. Je suis une Québécoise âgée de 16 ans. Pendant que je continue de marcher vers mon école secondaire, mes cheveux ronds, ondulés et s'arrêtant au mi-dos semblent se lever au rythme de mes pas. Cela me donne l'impression d'exécuter une drôle de danse. Pourtant, je reste concentrée. Mon regard vert est fixé sur son objectif. Je dois arriver à l'école à temps. The story is told through a total of seven chapters and you go from the mundane, everyday life of Alice to some magical and fantastical situations and places. The game's length is around two to three hours. The dialogue of the game is good and manages to keep you engaged with the characters throughout the story. In terms of visuals, the game is completely hand-drawn and the art style is mostly minimalistic. Characters are well-drawn and backgrounds have only the necessary details that are needed to portray the space in which the character is in. Because this is a visual novel, the game really wasn't taxing on my PC. I played the game with a 1650 GTX GPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and an i5 9400H CPU. The game's spec requirements were really low, so basically most computers can run this game without any problem. And the game runs with a resolution of 1080p. And with regards to the music, I feel like this is one of the strongest points of the game. The music is excellent from beginning to end and really helps the player to get invested and immersed in every moment of the story. Throughout the game, the music is used in such a way that really transmits the protagonist's mood and the way she perceives her surroundings. When she is happy and relaxed, a particular type of music plays, but when she is facing situations that scare her or that stress her, the music changes to accentuate this. Allez, c'est parti. Je vais au corridor ayant mon casier. Il est bondé de monde. Alors que mon cerveau me dit danger et qu'une pression se manifeste à ma tête, je me faufile parmi la foule d'étudiants et d'étudiantes. J'atteins mon casier, je range mon manteau noir 
et je prends mes manuels scolaires. Mathématiques. Je commence avec un cours de maths. La pression à la tête se transforme aussitôt en grande douleur. Mon cerveau me hurle « Danger 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 !» Et je dois me retenir de m'enfuir en courant. In this sense, the music in this game interweaves itself with the story exposition and helps construct the protagonist's subjective perception of the world and people around her. So let's talk briefly about the gameplay. For Alice Magical Autistic Girls, it's an adventure visual novel with some light horror tones at times. As all visual novels, you have a user interface always available where you can see previous dialogues, skip current dialogue and scene, activate the auto scrolls for the dialogue, save and quick save the game, and you can access the options from the user interface too. This game is a semi-linear visual novel, meaning that most of the story will progress in a linear way, but there will be moments where the game will give you options to make decisions. These decisions will determine if you get a game over or continue the story. In these cases, the game overs are elaborated and play out in very different ways throughout the game, very similar to what you would usually see in an RPE Maker game. So let's talk about the cons and the pros of this game. Two things that I feel took a little bit away from my gameplay experience with this game were, first of all, the inconsistency in the style of the drawings. Some images were really detailed and others were less detailed and more basic. I wish that the drawing style was kept uniform throughout the game. The other con that I would point out is that I wish more time was spent in action scenes with the magical girl powers. We get to see them in action, but only briefly. In what regards to the strong points of this game, I think the first thing to mention is the protagonist's characterization. As I said in the beginning, this game does an excellent job of allowing the player to see the world through the eyes of an autistic girl and to understand her subjective perspective of the world and the people who surround her. The other strong point that I would like to point out is the music. Each track really fits perfectly with the scene that is presented and it helps a lot to create the emotional climate of the scenes and the characters. And last but not least, the voice acting was excellent from beginning to end. Hearing Chloe get in, voice act every character and narrate the story was very delightful and elevated the experience with this game. In conclusion, For Alice Magical Autistic Girls is a visual novel that accomplishes what it sets out to do. Tell an interesting, magical and fantastical story with light horror tones while allowing the player to see and understand the world through the eyes of a teenage girl with autism. By doing this, the game manages to create awareness of autism, educating the player through the gameplay experience while still entertaining. The main character's portrayal breaks the mold of the typical video game protagonist by giving us a representation of a functionally diverse individual. For this reason, I recommend this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this non-spoiler review and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.